Welcome back to Norfolk Perspectives. I can't wait for this one because uh, Julian Williamson, Battalion Chief, Norfolk Fire and Rescue, how you doing? I'm doing great today. How about you, Bob? Pretty good. Now, you're not going to deflate my ego or anything, right? You're going to encourage me and I'm not tell gonna, me I'm okay. I'm going to tell you you're okay. You, you look so, great. So do I qualify? You qualify. We, we might have to check a few other things out, but you, you look like you qualify from what I can see. Okay. Now, you, you are recruiting for new recruits for the fire department. That is correct. Um, I do a great job washing my vehicle. Okay. Well, we, we do wash the truck sometimes, yeah. but it's, it's some other tasks that we have to do along with that. Like what? I'll climb some ladders, uh, respond to some calls where people are sick or injured and, and help them out. And uh, Yeah. We do fire inspections. We we operate on boats. We go on hazmat oh, there's calls. There's boats. There's boats. Oh, I could do boats. You could do boats. You hand out fire alarms. We fire install fire alarms. You know. Oh, uh, you ins install them too. Don't we just install them. Yeah, we just don't. We just don't hand them out. We install them. We test them. Uh, we're in the schools. We're talking to the kids. I can do that. You know, we're out in the community. You know, we yeah. go to go to different events. So there's a few other things that we do other than uh, wash the trucks. Now, what about, because um, there's that rescue part, too. Oh, uh, yes, yes. You know, also, you know, uh, well, in Norfolk, uh, I'll just give you a quick quick overview. Uh, we have a fire rescue department, which means we do firefighting and EMS. So once you come in the department, you're cross-trained to do both. You're cross-trained to be a firefighter. Oh. Correct. And also you're cross-trained to be an EMT. Now, is that CPR and... Uh, that's, that's CPR and, and a lot more, and a lot more. And you you keep levels. saying a lot more, Julian. Well, we, we expect a lot, you know. We expect a lot. We, we got a great uh, group of citizens that we, des that we serve, and uh, we want to give them the best. We want to put the best out there for them. So what are you looking for in a man or a woman applying? Uh, we, I think I'm getting kind of, you're being nice to me, I think. Uh, we, we're looking for somebody that's uh, that has a current attitude, uh, somebody that has empathy. Okay, got that. You know, uh, we're looking for somebody that's in shape quite naturally. Well, I mean, okay, I mean, I've been doing this fitness thing. Okay, that's great. So that's great. I can do some push-ups and some. Do some push-ups. Do a little running. Do you mind? Uh, kind of, sorta. Kind of, sorta. But you ride a truck. Well, we ride a truck to the call. Yeah. Yeah, but a truck doesn't get us all the way where we need to be at. Sometimes we have to go up a few flights of stairs. Sometimes uh, we have to walk a little distance to get on the boat. Yeah. Maybe to get in the water to, to do a rescue, so. Now, and it's 95 degrees, you got all that equipment on, there's some cooling stuff in there, right? Keeps you cool? Um, a little sweat, you know, oh. from, from, your, from your body, you know, to, to, cool, to cool you down, but no cooling equipment inside there. No. We have to work out, uh, Work outside in the element, whether it's hot or cold. So uh, being in shape, you know, is very important. Um, eating right is very important. Uh, getting your proper rest is very important. Yeah, and you're, you're sleeping. You're, I mean, because you do 24-hour shifts, right? Once you get out of the academy, the academy is uh, seven months long, and once you get out of the academy, you're assigned to a station. Okay. And correct, like you say, we do work 24-hour uh, shifts. Now, do you have to be awake that whole 24-hour shift? Um, you don't have to be awake the whole 24-hour shift. Typically, you'll come in uh, in the morning uh, at 0700, and uh, we'll have what we call like a lineup, and the officer at the station will go over, you know, the plan for the day. And through the course of the day, you may uh, be going out on some building inspections. You may uh, be going to uh, the training center to do some training, or you may be doing some in-house training. And with all this, you still have... A lot have of emphasis on training. On training, a lot okay. of emphasis on training. And you still uh, are responding on calls. Typically, uh, around 5, 6 o'clock, you know, in the evening, you're kind of uh, on your own time or what we call downtime. So uh, each person has their own little uh, bunk room or bed space where they sleep at. So, uh, you know, you're, you're allowed to, you know, get some rest and, and be prepared. But at 5.15, the yeah. bell goes off. 5.15, the bell goes off. You have to be ready to go have to be ready to go. How do you do that? Um, here again, I, you know, I go back to, you know, uh, dieting, eating right, uh, staying in shape, exercising, and uh, training. You know, we do, we do a lot of training. You know, each day we're doing uh, some type of training, whether it's uh, just throwing ladders to a building 
or doing some formal training where we go into our training center, uh, going over elevator rescue calls or hazmat calls. So we, uh, we do a lot of training to have us ready and prepared to respond to these calls. So as a, you've pretty much told me I don't want to be a new recruit. Now, you've got about 30 seconds to turn all this around and talk to that audience about becoming a recruit. Oh, uh, I, who, who is it you're looking for? I, I, here again, like I said, I, I'm looking for those, uh, those people out there that are caring, energetic, and uh, that want to challenge each day. Uh, this job is very rewarding, and it, it definitely gives you a challenge. It's uh, a lot we do other than uh, just getting on the trucks and uh, going to house fires and taking out tools and hose lines in, inside the buildings and putting out fires. Uh, we have boats and we have boat teams that we respond on uh, water rescue calls. We have a fire marshal office that does inspections. So we have a training department. So there's a lot of avenues once you get inside the department that you're able okay. to branch off and go in. Now you've been doing this for a couple of years? Uh, approximately 25 years. And you love it? I love it. I wouldn't trade it for anything What's else. your favorite part, uh, besides my, being on Norfolk Perspective? My favorite part is uh, this part right here, recruiting. Uh, being able to get people in the department and just seeing them uh, be successful in the department and uh, advance up and move and do well within the job. Julian, I, I want to close by saying thank you to the men and women that serve the residents through uh, Fire and Rescue because it's, I think it is one of those jobs that we really don't totally appreciate the complexity and the opportunity that the men and women have, but also the level of service. When, you, when we were talking pre, pre, I mean, it really, it's about agility, it's about fitness, it's about uh, the willingness uh, to grow, but, but willingness to serve. That's really what it's all about, isn't it? Correct, correct. You know, it, it has to be within, you know, you have to enjoy uh, what you're doing. You know, you really have to enjoy uh, uh, being out in the public. We're out in the public a lot. And uh, if you enjoy serving the pub public, this may be an opportunity for you. So, and if you think that you can apply and get the job in two weeks, what's the expectation? Um, that's not going to happen. <laughs> yeah. So, explore, check about it. Yes, um, you can go on uh, the city website uh, and go to uh, the human resource site. Currently, right now, uh, the application process is closed, but it will be opening up in another two to three weeks but you can put in a job interest card. And if you have any questions, uh, I can be reached at 664-6600. Again, that number is 664-6600. Now, will you try to talk them into it or talk them out of it like you just did me? I'm gonna try to talk them into it. I want you to, I want you to put your application in, Bob. I might just do that, <laughs> what the heck? That could be fun. Thanks a lot, Jimmy, for everything that you've done to, to bring the service and, the, and the, really the, the attitude of service to our, our fire department. And I look forward to seeing you in the news at 3 o'clock in the morning. So. All right. Thank you for having me up here. Okay. When we come back, we're going to be talking about fair trade and what that means to you. Stay tuned.